And then so this is this movie's version of that, where you cast the name celebrity in a small part, because it should be Cameron Mitchell, really. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you can see it as James, like this movie shows just how good James Doohan is. Mike, check oh, one, yeah. two, one, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I get James Doohan doesn't give a shit. Does that hurt? Cut him looking miserable. Richard guys have the same shirt. <laughs> That James oh, Doohan is a terrible actor. I'm saying in this, he did not give a shit. I I think he's trying, but he's just really bad. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> check check one two. Check. One, two, one, two, check. Son of a bitch. Does this work? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello, kitty. Boot, boot. Boot, boot with the snoot, snoot. Hi. Mwah. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Who cares if they can hear me? Clear. Oh. Now you're sitting on the controller. Meow, meow, meow. Because whatever she touches, touches is detecting. Oh. Hi, buddy. I love you. I don't know. I'm trying to do some work, though. I love you. Yes, I do. Oh, you're so pretty. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Who's the best boy? I love you. Hi. You want to be famous? You're a big fluffy kitty who loves cuddles, so yes, you want to be famous. Do it, you. Lucifer. 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 Who's a kitty boy? Moo, moo, moo. Look how big and fluffy you are. Who's ridiculous? Who's a kitty? Who's a kitty? Where do you woot? Woot, woot, moo, moo, kiss, moosh. Moo. Moo. Hi. Oh. This is a thing that people don't see when I'm trying to do it. Because I give you treats that make you fat. Mow, mow, mow. Trying to work here, cat. Mow, 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 mow. Oh, my shoulder. Mow, 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 mow. Oh, right in the neck. Mow, mow, mow. Look at my bum hole. Isn't it amazing? No shame with this cat. No shame at all. All right, scoop. I do shit. Yeah, we're black. <laughs> I brush him. I don't care who hears. I brush him, but. My God, 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 cat. Like, brush, brush, all the damn time. I will prove to you if need be, if you're like, hey, you're abusing your cat. Because you don't brush him enough to... He's a long-haired floof. What can I say? Anyway, let's see if this works. Check, check. Hello, my name is Brendan Bulldog Ekstrom.
Brendan Kenneth Ekstrom, Christian name. My name is Brendan, but everybody calls me Bulldog. I guess I'm doing this because I'm really at my wit's end. Yeah. You've seen pictures of this guy. Put him at the front. Just to make things uh, easier to understand. Down, boy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Off. Psst, psst. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Really. I audition all the goddamn time. But what's an audition? We've all been there, right? We've all been there, right? You walk in, you know your lines, and you dress for the part. Christ. All the goddamn time. All the goddamn time. Dress for the part. Hey, buddy. Oh, kitty bum. You dress for the part. I've dressed up like chefs, and I have a chef's jacket. I have all this stuff. You put on all these clothes, because you look the part, right? Oh, you're big, chef. You're mean looking, I'm gonna make you a mobster. You look like a biker. Shave your head, girl goatee, biker. Yeah. Then what? Christ, I'm so tired of playing bikers. Audition for the big, big man. We need a big looking dude. that easy mm -hmm. ain't that easy big guys dime a dozen Ugh. it's so surreal walking into a place everybody looks like you ever have that that's only actors really it's not like you know you walk into a place and Every day, and you see like six or seven guys who are big, bulky, tough looking dudes, right? I see it all the time. All the time. It's so weird and surreal. Hey, buddy. I don't know. Auditions are weird. Walking in those places, and you just kind of see this one guy with a camera he's like hey you all right so you, you know what you're gonna say absolutely and, and you say it and everybody's like oh wow that's great but could you do it a little bit more quietly or a little bit more this or a little bit more that meow chicky floof meow oh play there you go lay on a pizza box you did it great. It was great the way that you did it. The way that you rehearsed it, et cetera, et cetera. And then you walk in and they're like, oh, that's amazing. But could you just do it a little bit more happy? All right, cool. Do it. It's not like you've ever done, eh, you know, happy. You've done happy before, right? Yeah. Subverse the ideals, the twist. The twists, the turns, so easy. Nah. I've acted all my life. I went up and did like speech things, right? Memorize a poem and then you just spout it off. And I've done that. Performed many times, musically. On stage, screen, lots. I've done lots. <sighs> why can't I do more? Like, why can't I do more? Why is it now? Like, I get COVID. I really do. But there's films being made right now. Like, we're we're kind of over the hump past the past the fifty. You know, like downhill schlag, right? Ah. Uh. I know I can do it. I know I can. Four years of a theater degree. <sighs> you 
think you got everything figured out, you're able to just sit down and like do stuff. Oh, yeah. That's the weirdest thing, too, right? Auditions. Like, I just don't get it. I really don't. Like, pff. I can't. I can't wait to the point in my career when I just don't. I just walk in and it's like, "Hey, Brendan, here's here's this bulldog. How you doing? Here's a script, right? Oh, cool. Don't have to. Don't ever have. I never want to audition again. I just don't. <sighs> you know, from the moment to the end, you just give him this like five second. This is who I am. And I'm not the only one. I'm there's there's a thousand other guys who can do this, and do it just as well as I can. And out of all these people, they just pick one. They just pick the one, right? And when it's you, it's great. It's amazing. God damn right. There's two, three, four hundred that just don't. You gotta go. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I wasn't the guy that they were looking for in that time. But, you know, like, how many times can you just go in and just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy. I know I'm the guy. I know I can do this. I know I can give you everything 110%. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in theater. I've studied this. Shakespeare. I know it. Like, blocking. This, 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 this. I can do this. I can do this. That's why I love welding. To be honest, welding's amazing. It really is. One thing I really loved about my time in IOTSI, and it's such a brilliant... If, if you're into film, and you're maybe not being an actor, I want you to go look up IOTSI. Because if you know how to read a tape measure, if you're determined, if you're willing to work, IOTSI is looking for you join up you get to be creative you get to be creative in a very special and awesome way and that's why IOTSI is probably one of the greatest like unions that you can join for film and theater and television join up with them IOTSI all right but the thing is the weird thing is segue Back on track. Can you weld? Yeah, I'm a welder. How many times have I heard that? A friend of mine, good friend, Nick. Uh, we used to work together until my hands started giving out. I'm going to go be getting surgery done on that soon. Get back at it. Miss you, Nikki. Tony, likewise. People show up and are like, I'm a welder. Yeah, so you can weld, right? Yeah, I know how to weld. I could weld. I welded everything from crack of dawn to broken hearts and everything in between. I know how to do it all. Uh -huh. Well, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> stories I could tell. The stories I could tell. Not right now. Anybody's interested? Sure. I'll relay a story. Just ask. I'm full of them. Bouncer. Oil patch. Ugh. God, the oil patch. I, I don't think I've ever wanted to get out of something so goddamn bad in my life don't get me wrong there, there's some great people who are working to make sure your cars run alright this I, I understand I, I, I understand the hate. I really do. 
ships, like raping Mother Earth. I worked frack crews. I've stood on, like, ground as the Earth doth quake. And you stand there and you go, yeesh, and thousands of pounds of pressure and diesel. But it's like, honestly, if aliens do exist, which people have been it's almost proven true, might I add, is that aliens might actually fucking exist, which is hilarious. Oh, God, I'm going on YouTube. Fwickin'. A guy say that all the time. Fwickin'. I fucking hate this. Anyway. Yeah. You know, if aliens actually exist, why are they trying to contact us, man? Uh, that scene off of Easy Rider, man. That's the thing that blows my mind is that Jack Nicholson, if you are watching this, <laughs> hi buddy, how you doing? Down you go. Boop. <laughs> if you're watching this, man, you're able to sit there and be like, yeah, man, they're the Venusians beaming back at you, and you're like, oh, what? <laughs> Venusians beaming back at you. If you don't have, if you haven't seen Easy Rider, it's my favorite film. Absolutely greatest of all time. I could sit down. I could, I could sit down and break apart this movie. I had nothing to do with it. This was filmed in 1969 by uh, Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper, and uh, like Dennis Hopper is a director. It's a magnificent film. Magnificent. Maybe I'll go through that. Well, we'll see. Who knows what the fuck this is. I'm just sitting here rattling on about me. Hi. The film industry. Hi. Expect your movies and television to become less scenic. I'm thinking. I don't know. The fact that lumber is going up. Amount of wood we used in IOTC. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. My God. The price tag. Skids. I remember skids showing up earlier, like in my earlier career. Just skids of like three quarter inch ply. Just grab some D grade. Build a jig. All right, cool. <laughs> Not now. Ooh. Oh, sigh. Oh, I don't know. Do I not have a look? John Candy. Benny DeVito. I just watched a thing on him, which is kind of cool online on YouTube. He, he's sort of his best of. He's sitting discussing these things. and just like, oh, that's really cool. I wonder, like, personally, one of my favorite things is um, Dave Bautista. He's actually, like, believe it or not, is a favorite actor of mine. And you might be like, what the f Well, look at the guy. He's jacked. He's huge. I remember watching a Dave Bautista moment when he was... Uh, he just got Guardians of the Galaxy. This is like him fresh out of WWE, and he's like, he's sitting there, and he's like, I remember the commercial, he's sitting there, he's, or the, the spot was, he's sitting there, and he's like, yeah, man, uh, just get out of WWE, and so like, they're, they give me an acting coach, and I, he's sitting there, and he's like, okay, you know, we do the stretches and get her body moving, and, and then he's like, okay, we're, we're jumping into Shakespeare. And I was like, I don't know Shakespeare. And, I, and then he's like, then all of a sudden his eyes at this moment just get like saucer size. And he's like, but man, there are some things there. It's unbelievable, man. Like the, he just like he fanboyed Shakespeare during his, one of his earlier interviews. And by God, Dave, it's like, I was like, I, the world might not get you, but oh boy, buddy, I got you. Big tough dudes, like trying to be sensitive. Like I, like I got it. I got it. 
then like everything you do, man, I always give a thumbs up. And it's like, yeah, like Batista, he's like, he knows his stuff. That guy. Mwah. And I would love to know, Dave, if you, if you ever hear this, I tweeted you earlier. Um, uh, I uh, just said, uh, like, what Shakespeare, like, give me, give me some. What would you like to play? I think it'd be interesting to hear. Uh, so I guess it's like a celebrity call out, Dave Batista. What, what Shakespeare role would you do? <laughs> I guess. Oh, I thought this was going to be worse than what I'm doing. Actually, I kind of having fun with it. You know, I, I found out a friend of mine passed away uh, the other day, I just out of the blue, uh, Mikey, uh, you know, like, and that's, that's tough to lose a friend, especially if he's younger than you, right? Like, I'm almost 40, and he was like 36, uh, 84, he pa- it was his birthday, and he passed away the other day, and it's just kind of like, um, what do you got to say, right? Like. Nobody knows yet. Like he's uh, autopsy's going on right now, and that's just it's real shit. But uh, I guess this is kind of another reason why I'm doing this. So, um, cheers, Mikey. Much love, brother. Um, see you on the other side of the Rainbow Bridge. Mm. <sighs> yeah, the Rainbow Bridge on the Viking. What the Valhalla? <laughs> Ekstrom Last name Ekstrom Yeah Look I'm almost 40 I still got all my hair Which is nice um, I will gladly support I haven't used any product either This is like <laughs> um, But I will take You know the money from Anybody be like Hey, are you losing your hair? Oh, that's too bad. But um, here's this product. (laughs) Son of a bitch. Hmm. I love acting. I really do. I love acting. I love writing. I love being involved with film. Anything. Front, behind. Just such a great medium, isn't it? Here's something cool that I'm doing right now. Just for the shit of it, right? Got some lights and a microphone and a camera, right? This is film. This is acting. This is something that I'm actually able to share with you. How I'm feeling this moment never happen again. None of it. I mean, I can edit stuff down, but why bother? I suppose. <laughs> like comics. Comics. I like comics. Thinking about doing a Lobo series. Lobo, the main man, Lassarnian. <laughs> Beginning to end. Yeah? yeah? That's a good idea? I think I should do that. Beginning to end, Lobo. From purple and red. Skin bodysuit. <laughs> that one. I should do that, my body. Get <laughs> like. <laughs> Classic Lobo, because I got the costume. I can cosplay this. It's like my favorite thing to cosplay, because cosplay is amazing. Keep making wonderful things, you. I know. Oh, my God. Yeah. A piece I'm going to play at the beginning. Ugh. I'm just laying there now. Meow. <laughs> oh, what a good cat. Ugh. But yeah, Lobo, one of my favorite characters. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I know that a lot of people are sitting there going like, well, you, you got to look, either look like Chris Evans or The Rock or what have you. John Candy did shit, man. Like I'm just saying earlier, I know I'm sort of circling back. 
John Candy. Like, good Canadian boy. I know I summoned you. I'm sorry I did. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. I love you. You're so amazing. Uh oh. Johnny. How good are you? Like, look at that. Like, be unique. That's the thing. You want to know a secret to acting? I'm just going to give it to you. Just be unique. Be bold. The world's full of like, I really can sell that. Take chances. If it works, great. If it doesn't, who gives a shit? We're all dead anyway, right? It's a floating corpse on a meaningless planetary ride. Uh oh. Beep. Thank you, cat. Does he give a shit? Hey, Lucifer. Lucifer. Come here. I'm sorry. That was. God, I will brush you again. Fur factory and poop, poop and fur. Yeah. Just be weird. There's too many normal people in the world. Express yourself. You want to wear a squid on your head and weird John Lennon glasses? Do it. In fact, Not like I had that just lying around, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to get through to you? Bad boys, bad boys? Yeah. Done that. Don't need to do that no more. I don't wanna do that no more. Don't wanna be that person. Ugh. Blech. Better, ple better people to be. Just gotta be me. Might as well. No harm in it. Hmm. Ugh. Prattle on. So I'm Canadian. I was born on the prairies. I got my theater d degree in Newfoundland. And I'm currently living in Toronto. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> That's weird, ain't it? Like, where I have been. Grew up riding on my bicycle, eating Saskatoon berries. Hang out with my friend. Friend. Just living the, the young, crazy life of some farmhand. Raising sheep, chickens, weeding, picking rocks. You want to talk about fun? Hey, all right, Brendan, it's after your cartoons. Let's go out and pick rocks. No, Dad, I really not, it's not over yet, Dad. No, no, he's like, no, no. You watched your He Man. I know that's your show. It's time to get up and. Pick some rocks. All right, Dad. Guess I'll go pick some rocks. Oh. Me and my 
my brother. I won't name him. He's an innocent party in all this experience. And I'd walk in front of that tractor, filling up buckets, picking up rocks. If it was too heavy, Dad would get off the tractor and put it in. <laughs> my God, you better. He'd be like, no, nah, that's all right. You're just whining. Pick rocks. That's what kids need now. That's what children do nowadays is to walk in front of a giant deer tractor with a bucket and fill it with rocks. Oh, yeah. oh dear God. Could get political. Probably won't. At least not yet. Maybe later. I listen to Motorhead. It's over there. Maybe I'll change this setup around. You'll see on my entire my entire bedroom. This is the opening discussion. The rest is history. <laughs> Who would Foggle's bear to grunt and sweat in a weary life? Foggle's. Let's look this up. I know it, because I'm a Shakespearean actor. But you want to be absolutely sure what Foggle's are. Foggles. Foggles Bear. Isn't this great? It's amazing technology. I don't even have to put mine into it. And then you go, oh, that's what it is. Uh, 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 Morty. Whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no fear, Shakespeare. That is. I was like scrolling through it, just trying to find the thing. And this is the point. Like, at least the thing I miss is that you can do this shit away from people. Because all of a sudden, somebody else will get into an argument, and you just kind of go like, oh, yeah, "Give me a sec." I used to know stuff off my head. I know Beatles shit really well. Like, I'm Mike Skolotska of the Beatles. Like, I will sit down and discuss Beatles shit to like the the umpteenth degree and be probably right <laughs> test me ha come at me bro my Beatles knowledge outshines your Beatles knowledge I am one with the backbeat any old way you choose it. And if you want to dance with me. Who would Foggles bear? Um, oh. The whole line for everyone. Who would Foggles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the unknown kingdom from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles a will, makes us rather bear the ills we have than cry to others we know not of. Foggles. Foggles. Who would choose to grunt and sweat through an exhausting life? Ugh. I know people like that. My old bosses, guys, amazing. Just, 
I've never seen somebody so driven in my life. I've never seen one of my bosses, a guy who like quite almost literally worked himself to death. Like it just, it's, it's amazing to like know a person like this. And it's just like, my God, <laughs> I hope he's enjoying it. I don't know if you're retired or not. I'm not going to say your name because, you know, I don't know if you're retired or not, but my God, man. Oof. <sighs> Just because I start work at 8 o'clock doesn't mean I have to show up at 7.45. I don't show up at 8, 7.59. So I'm going to walk in through that front door. Technically, I'm there. I'm at work. But seriously, show up to work on time. That's the big thing, right? You want to be there for things that you enjoy doing. And things that you want to make sure that you're there on time. Get there on time. Um, anyway. It's been about a half hour. I'm also going to include uh, Lucifer at the front. The big fluffy black kitty. If, I guess, just hits you in a way. Maybe you want to hear more. Yeah. Talk music, movies, horror, UFOs, what the fuck ever. I don't know. This is what this is. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're interested, find me on all social media, unless it's perverted and disgusting. Bulldog six 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 nine nine nine. Uh that's Bulldog six 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 nine nine nine. Uh Twitter, Facebook, uh YouTube, yeah, everything, everything. Yeah. Insta. Hit me up on Insta. And uh yeah, so um that's that. Uh, thank you for joining me on this descent into madness, which is my brain. Um, I hope that I can entertain you because um, right now, it's all I got. I really do. I have nothing else. And... I don't want to go out in oblivion. So, it begins. Score.